あと何人残ってるえっとねひーふーみー Guys, so we're here with Michel Rosado in Mayaguez, Puerto Rico. He topped today in his local with uh, what deck was it? Uh, Soul Striker. Go Soul Striker. Mono okay, Mono Blue Soul Striker. Yeah. So he went, I believe, undefeated, 3-0. Yeah. What decks did you play today? I played against Super Saiyan 3, Red, Blue, uh, and Trunks. Trunks? Yeah. Okay, any other deck you played? Hirudagon? Mm, yeah, Hirudagon Temple. Okay. Yeah. So let's get started with the deck profile. Yeah. Uh, well, I played Super Saiyan God Son Goku. Yeah. For those of you who don't know what he does, he attacks on the on Awakened side, untaps one, Awaken Brawl two, and when he attacks, he untaps two blue energy. Yeah. So that's pretty standard. He was the meta for set one, two, and early set three, and yeah, he, he was, he's, he's, he's still doing good, pretty good. Yeah, he was a good leader even in the Mecha Freeza yeah. format. So. Uh, well, most of the cards are blue. I played three sneak attack Vegeta. Uh, he's really good for the mid game. He chips a card from hand and he puts, puts pressure. And well, all the, all these cards combo well with the, with the leader effect of I'm tapping too. So you can always keep uh, summoning creatures. Yeah. I play three Piccolo the strategist uh, for matchups like Trunks and he really guard. He usually goes to energy, but for long games, he's really good to take off bothers from the from the field. Yeah, he's a good removal card. Yeah. Uh, Beira Prince of Speed, he's a pseudo scientist fool. Yeah. Uh, but he's uh, four, four costs uh, more expensive. But he's really good. He has tw uh, t a 20, that's a dual striker. He serves as energy as uh, early game. Yeah. And he's a good finisher. Only two flutes, because I really don't see any many uses for him in the deck. Uh, he was good when I had him, but I never felt like I really needed him. Yeah. So I'm all already preparing for the. Yeah. For you, the, you have uh, you have one too many. It's, <laughs> the Arata is only one per deck, so. Only three negates. I played one inside deck. Uh, most of my games, I defended myself with the cost one creatures and the free hunts. Yeah. Uh, but for end games, end, uh, finishers like uh, Fu and Mira and Kawas, well, the negates are for that. Yeah. Uh, a three, three, two comrades combined Vegeta. Yeah. He combos well with preface since preface comes on tap two and yeah. then you can play him. Then attack with leader on tap two more and you got a free turn two creatures on board. Yeah, because he reduces his cost by one if your all your energy is blue, right? Yeah, and, he, and he's a twenty. Yeah, he's a twenty, so he yeah, he he's puts a pressure. Big, yeah, he he's puts a pressure. big stick, an an unexpensive big stick, cheap big stick. Three, four tapion. Most of my games, it was surviving till turn three to drop this guy. He gives you the awaken. He uh, pops something basically, and he's a 15, so he's a really good card. Yeah, he puts it on top of the deck. He removes yeah. any threats. From I consider board. blue decks are really good right now because of this card, since he gave you the things, the thing that you didn't have before that uh, is self awakened So this yeah. is really good. Yeah, you have Self-Awakened and you have uh, a lot of good cards. Flute's a good card, yep. chill for, for blue, Sansubin and all that, yeah. Four Raging Spirit Song go on. Uh, this card is great. I mean, it goes off on your opponent's turn. Yeah. And it disengages them from killing you uh, on the same turn since they have to worry about it on the next turn. So they either have to kill it or they have to leave it and worry about it later. Yeah, it's, it's an aggressive yeah, defense. He, yeah, when he attacks, usually all these 15 usually don't combo. So it, either they ship a uh, card from the hand to defend or they ship a life to their hand. So yeah. it's a slow game, but it's a sure game. Three at all costs, Vegeta. Awesome card. Awesome, I love awesome, it. I, awesome I, I love card. the card, yeah. I love the card. I finished three games today with him. Uh, for those that don't know what uh, what he does, when he comes, he untaps one and draw one card. Uh, you can take two life. This card gains three thousand for every energy you have, and if you have five or more energy, you pop a card, and this card gains triple strike. Yeah. So if you catch any deck off guard, all tap, or if you catch any deck without the negates, you can be the negates with any. This card is the best finisher. Yeah, you go deck. for game. Yeah, you go for game. He combos himself out, and he's a triple striker, so it's, he's really good. Yeah. 
uh, four cents will be against trucks and hero the guard matchups here in a storm uh, especially this car is super great you just sense to win on their turn and they have to be wasting one extra card to combo and keep on with, with their game plan that is chip your lives to two and end it with foo yeah. but this card makes it difficult for them to to do that yeah two sense beans are other beaters or tens so they practically have to combo three or four cards over yeah. uh four kibito kai my, my super combo I gotta be honest, I'm running Kibito Kai because I have the Piccolos. Okay. But he served beautifully today. Uh, all ins from my opponents usually went bad because I had Kibito Kai on my hand. And since this this deck has a lot of one combos, one drop combos, I can out combo in any deck pretty easily thanks to Sensu Win, thanks to Kibito Kai. Yeah. For the Busan Mayimbu, he cycles the deck and do it. and. Fluting the boo to to draw is is pretty good. So preface recovery, preface of recovery is on Goku. He was great all uh, all term and long. I usually drop two to three of these per turn, and he chips off life. Uh, and he's with your, the leader, he's, he's yeah. your combo starter too. Yeah, uh, he gives you a new turn basically with the with the leader effect. Break cards, <laughs> four super combos basically. Um, for Unbreakable Super Saiyan Son Goku. Uh, he serves great. Defensively, I usually use him for more defensive purposes. Uh, but he's a free super combo. And this deck is really good defending itself and keeping energy on tap. So he, he almost always has use. Okay. Two Champas. The dreaded uh, Champa. Yeah, I ended a lot of games with Champa. Because he's really good. <laughs> he's just a double striker. Uh, tagging with leader and then doing champa is it's a 30k yeah your, your leader is a 30k yeah, double turn strike. five the leader is 20 and then you champa off it's a 30k and then you combo off from there and it combos well with my only black card I played it's supreme kind of time lights guide uh she comes over round three she boosts the leader 5k and then you draw one card yeah uh, she served really good today since when the games went long, the leader would hit 25 for his effect, 5 for his effect and 5 for hers. So She's, makes, she's basically, like, like I told you before the video, she's like a super combo because if you drop her, draw one card, plus 5 to the leader, then combo with it, he, and the leader's yeah. a 30, so. Yeah. The game plan was pretty simple throughout the game. It was defending myself till, till I can get to turn 3 or 4, dropping the Tapion, awaken myself, and then going on from there, whatever it's, it was almost all matchups were really grindy, but I, I felt really good about them. Okay, Mitchell, thanks for the video. Yeah, See you no next problem. time, guys.